Hello everyone, and welcome back to a planet zoo and ice ice outpost where Shepherd's Nook, the first of our many little mountain towns, is currently thriving with lambs. Look at this, you guys. We actually have some little lambs for our doll sheep now, including Cord, a newborn baby boy lamb who has his brother Blanket right over here. I am so excited to see the flock is finally flourishing. Ever since we lost that first little lamb who just like vanished into the snows, I was really worried like we would lose all of them, but we seem to be getting a lot better with our lambs. I'm pretty happy about that. However, the flock does want to have a little bit more space so I think we're going to go ahead and expand Rachel's sheep pen because clearly our small village of Shepherd's Nook is beginning to outgrow its first established little boundaries and we now have the beauty, the absolute glory of the first of the arctic themes and i would love to replace some of the things we have built with this like look at this isn't this just the cutest little shell oh my gosh we're gonna we're gonna upgrade rachel's sheep shack we're gonna actually come in just remove all of this like get that out of here we don't need that anymore dock worker chris has been hard at work and he is now going to go ahead and upgrade rachel's little sheep shack with all of this amazing nonsense i mean look at it it's fantastic. All right, almost there, almost there, almost there, and <gasps> look at how cute this is. It's covered in leaves. I love everything about this. I love everything about this, and it has new lights. Watch. Look at those flames. Oh, this is perfect. I love this. I wonder if that upgraded, like, yeah, it bumped the scenery around the little shop to 80%, which is fantastic. Let's actually, I feel like I want to train Rachel up more now. We're making a little bit of a profit right now, which is good. Uh, we have a little bit of a backlog. And let's go ahead and train Rachel. Shepherd Rachel. She deserves to have a little bit more training, a little bit more pay. She should be pretty skilled at what she does now. And that way she'll handle like all of the people coming to get stuff from her a little bit faster, which is great. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, and speaking of which, we can actually help her out with people learning more about her sheep now. So we want to come down and we want to go to theme, Arctic. There we go. Look at all of these beams. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're probably going to want a couple beams for sure. But let's come down. Look at the cute little gifts. Oh, and the cute little festive garlands. I am just in love with everything about this. But here is a Zoopedia frame. So this is actually what I'm after right here. I want to get this Zoopedia frame. We're going to flip it up. Like, whoa, like so. There we go. And we're going to raise it up. I think it's upside down. That's fine. We can deal with that. <laughs> but look at this beautiful Zoopedia frame that we can put in the Habitat info board. So for educating the guest, let's see. Guest, guest, guest. Where's education? That's information. We want viewing devices and speakers, not Arctic theme. Uh, oh, and actually, can I do some sort of... Oh, we could do a little educational speaker where it could be... We could say this is the educational speaker where she's like talking about her adorable little sheep that she loves so much. I love that idea. Let's go ahead and put that down. And let's put doll sheep. And now everyone who comes over here will hear Rachel talking about her doll sheep. Like the first thing that happens. I love that. Okay, and then I think we want... Ooh, can we get like a cute little bit of music or... Maybe Habitat Conservation Board? Maybe, like, teach people a little bit about... Yeah, that wouldn't be bad to teach people a little bit about what's going on in Shepherd's Nook. We'll teach them about climate change. That seems appropriate <laughs> to teach people a little information about Shepherd's Nook. And then here is the Habitat Education Board that we were after. And the tricky thing here is going to be making sure that this is lined up with the wooden piece. Okay, and it's upside down. Yep, there we go. Oh, how I wish these just locked into place together, but they do not. And I think if I do it like 
this almost there it should fit this oh my gosh it does sweet okay so then if I move it forward a little I actually have a dream where we can move this forward some oh and yarn is about to have some offspring okay we're gonna have to add to Rachel's little area and I know we need to work on the wolves today too because that was a huge part of what we wanted to do but I'm gonna actually flip this one back around like so and then back just a little bit all right that works it's a little bit of a tight fit but it totally works and now we can have doll sheep on one side doll sheep on the other we have a multi educational board I love it all right so we'll have that and then let's come over to construction I love them no one can take my sheep children from me they're just too amazing and let's actually go down do I want to do these oh that's actually a really cool post look at that that's awesome and then we can do like a couple posts just like that that's so cool yay and Yorin has had her offspring we have another little lamb there's blanket there's cord oh, oh, oh there's the other lamb and Jacob oh my gosh well Jacob the multicolored coat so we'll leave the name Jacob but they're all boys so far which is kind of adorable uh, and then let's actually get all of this together like everything there merge it into a group there we go and then this is going to be education uh, Arctic education there and let's save that as a blueprint even I'm not gonna lose this sucker this looks so cool all right go up please there we go all right and then Arctic oh I love hearing the lambs it's lambing season you guys a snowy education board double-sided and we're going to choose uh, I feel like that's information personally yeah I feel like it's good information so this is going to go under information create blueprint boom now we will never lose that I am so relieved <laughs> which is great because we're scooching it over and let's actually add to the path so I feel like we want to start expanding to the village especially so we can have people come and look at the Arctic wolves very very soon here I am really excited about that uh, and let's actually turn this into a staff path at the entrance and then we'll transform it into a snow path and we are gonna go up I think maybe yeah maybe up and then down and what happens if I do natural path here that's a good question what if I do let's see is it aligned to a grid or okay and then down 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 okay so it just makes it kind of like this natural uh staircase and I guess we want people to come up this staircase as well so we'll instead of doing a natural staircase we'll make this an ice staircase coming up over to because I guess it's okay if people come this way because we want it to lead up to the wolves obstructed huh obstructed obstructed and up and over and then up some more because yeah this is gonna lead up to the wolves so we're gonna need to work on making the terrain work with us but that's where that'll go so maybe we'll have another path in fact I feel like we should leave oh that's actually kind of cool yes and then it can no, no you don't need to be a malformed path part you can come this way there nice and then we can just have the ice path right there we'll surround it with a bunch of really cool ice blocks and then lead people up to look down at the wolves over here as well as look at them from the side and they can come through the little village that we'll build huzzah i love how all of this is coming together 
All right, let's actually come in and make another little info spot where people can come this way. And if they so wish, learn more about our sheep. Right there. Nice. <laughs> so now they can come over. Uh, maybe we need to scoot this just a little bit like right here. Okay. Let's get up and do this just right there. There, there. That's where I wanted it. <laughs> so they can come and learn more about our sheep. And then hopefully with that education will come donations, which would be fan freaking fantastic. Uh, and I kind of want to put like some cute little rocks with some moss right over here. I think that'd be kind of fun. There's the ice. We could put ice or snow. But I think some little tundra rocks would be sort of adorable because it's the doll sheep. And they're going to be, you know, all over the open tundra areas. Right, come on over. There we go. And then come down like this. And then, whoops. Okay, we want to rotate this one. Oh, guys, I'm so excited to be, like, growing this with all of you. Also, do we have a second shepherd helping? I don't think... I think we only have... Oh! Yay! We know everything about the dull sheep! You guys know what that means. We definitely need to go ahead. We'll do some bonus research uh, for advanced research bonuses on the sheep. But that means we definitely need to get going and add in another species. And let's get another vendor because Shepherd Rachel is feeling really tired because she has done heckin' a lot. And so we're going to actually hire a new vendor. And this is going to be... Actually, can I unhire you? No, I cannot. Fooey. All right. Hang on. So this is actually going to be Shepherd. Let's see if I have Domi. So this is going to be Shepherd Domi helping out over here at Rachel's place. Can we train him yet? We can. All right. So we're going to want Shepherd Domi. Uh, and Domi, again, is one of our amazing patrons who has been part of our community for years. Look at everybody coming to literally stand inside of. That's fine. I'm sure that's how that's supposed to work. But they're going to be learning more about the sheep over here, which is so exciting. All right. And speaking of sheep and the town, we can actually start imagining how we're going to get some of the paths laid out. Let's get a little circle over here to kind of help us with that. So I want people to be able to come into the town, maybe on the ornate tile path, or we'll just keep it with the frosted ice path. Frosted ice path looks amazing. And then we'll have them come right up to the back before branching off and being able to go and visit the wolves if they want. Look at our little town start to evolve. This is so cool. And then, let's see. I need them to come over here. Oh, perfect. Nice. All right. And then people can come and visit with the wolves right over here in a tiny little corridor it's not very much but that's because you know you're trying to visit with wolves which is sort of asking a lot and then i'll come off that slope could i have made that slope a little i probably could have made that slope a little straighter so we wouldn't have to worry about it like so. But I think that's good. Just a nice little gentle ice slope on one side to kind of get a glimpse of the wolves. Uh, maybe we'll want to expand this terrain just slightly, flatten it a little more. And let people have just a bit more space to come and see the wolves. But I don't know if that'll do anything. All right, let's see. Nope, terrain to uneven for placement. So that won't do anything. No, whoa, that definitely won't do anything. All right, I think we're good. Oh, so dark. I need to remember to set the time so we can try to see the Aurora Borealis. I'm so excited about that. Right now we just see the gorgeous dawn. But there we go. So we do have a habitat set up. The question is how to make sure the wolves do not escape. Um, and I think for now, we definitely need to put in some big rocks. So I'm thinking, 
maybe our arctic wolves will be surrounded by some tundra rocks mixed with snow. And I don't know if that'll actually keep them in. But it's just kind of my imagination. Oops, did not mean to put those ones down. That's fine. But it's kind of my imagination of how we could at least try to prevent them from escaping up here and, you know, getting into town and causing who knows how much trouble. Uh, but I do think it'd be kind of pretty so people can come up. We do want people to be able to come up this direction. Actually, let's push this down a little and then smooth that out to be able to see what the wolves are up to. Okay. Definitely want to push this in. Oh, I see. So the barrier is actually blocking us. Let's go ahead and delete that spot for just a moment. Does that help? Oh, actually, I think it's this path that's making things wonky. Yeah, it was. Look at that. All right. Now we've got that fixed. And we'll connect the barrier. This is it, guys. We're making another wolf mountain. Still feel terrible about what happened to the last one. Trust me. Did not did not want any of that to happen to the last one. Um, and I guess I'm gonna have to work on the upper terrain quite a bit. I wonder if I can just do like this. This might be the best solution to provide like one spot where they can look out and kind of see what's going on. And then where did I put for, yeah, there's where my keeper can come in. So we can block the wolves off kind of up here. That seems like a good idea. And the people can come over to this spot to come and look at them. Oh, no, you don't. It's trying to snap along the barrier, and we don't want that. Okay. Okay. There. Look at that. And hopefully that'll make for a stunning view where people can come and they can just look straight in and see the wolves moving around, uh, which I think would be extremely amazing. And then this isn't going to be a habitat perimeter fence, but we do want to have like glass over here if we can. <laughs> if I can somehow make it work, I would like to have like some sort of barricade so people just don't, I guess we could use like stones. Just come in. And, ooh, let's do like a bunch of tundra rocks that look kind of like teeth, except I think they should be bigger than that. There we go. And then we can kind of put this here. And would that block anything? I actually think that'd be kind of cool. Look at this. People should be able to see over it, but not get past it. Meanwhile, back in town, it looks like we're making some good money. I'm very proud of our sheep. Oh my gosh, are people people are already walking this way. <laughs> They're already wondering what's in this habitat. That's hilarious. Well, my friends, it's going to be wolves, which I know you guys will want to see really soon. Oh, I'm really proud about this. I actually really like this kind of like teeth look to create a nice little barricade to keep the people. Believe it or not, the, the teeth represent the aggression of the humans, not the wolves. Though, as I've learned, Arctic wolves are actually one of the most aggressive of the wolf subspecies because they have not had as much exposure to humans, which really fascinated me when I learned about that. Also, let's go ahead and kind of make this look a little less awkward, maybe, by connecting up a few rocks to the bottom. Whoops, did not mean, I mean, it's a pretty rock, but it doesn't need to be marked as one of my favorites, just saying. Yeah, something like that. So just, it looks a little bit more sensible. And we'll change that, flip that rock, just cause we can. Nice. Kind of like an unexpected jaw. And we'll get one more big rock. 
There we go. I love creating in Planet Zoo because it just gives you so much freedom to make worlds come to life and it's amazing. Oh, and we can actually do like an avalanche. I love that idea. Like an avalanche over on this side, bordered by normal rocks. So we've got like big tundra rocks, right? And these big old tundra boys are gonna be in here. Let's flip that. Those actually look semi-decent. I don't know why I've been putting down rocks individually when I could just do this. It's so much better. <laughs> so you've got that and then you might think, oh, the wolves will just like go out through there, but we'll come in and boom, avalanche. <laughs> and that is why the wolves will be staying in this area. They have a little avalanche that has now blocked them in. That's so cool. I really love that use of the snow. We should probably put down an, like an avalanche in other spots too, because that would be really fun to see. Okay. That's fun. I actually really love that. I avalanche really love that. Sorry, I had to try it out. Didn't quite work as I thought for a pun, but it was a good attempt. All right. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, guys, so now we have an avalanche, which will hopefully help block them off on this side. Uh, then you can come up here. Boom. We can copy paste a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. To kind of block all of them in on this side. There we go. It needs work. But remember, we're just a humble outpost. It's gonna be a while before we can build, rebuild the mountains of our dreams, but we're already doing a really great job if you ask me. We'll get a few more of these, plunk them down here. There we go. That should keep the wolves from being able to wiggle over on this side, but just in case, we'll add in an extra rock or two. Nice. Okay, so they should be securely confined let's double check to this area they can come up here we might want another rock over here just to make sure i love the avalanche idea we had to kind of keep them contained over on this side let's add a little bit more avalanche and let's where's that big cool piece that we found no pun intended because it's a piece of ice and snow that's cool oh that's so fun I love this. All right, there we go. So we have an avalanche right there. We've got some rocky outcropping there that will just barely, but should keep the wolves in there. They, I don't think they could climb this. We might want to add in a few more teeth and the little boulders there. I don't think they could climb over here. We could actually expand this so that they had more room because we want to give them as much room as possible up on the bottom here yeah because any of the space that they could utilize we want to make it available to them let's push in here inside of their cave area because that's going to count as surface area and be very important for them all right maybe we could even make another cave in here just because we can and just in case they happen to like it you know, I want to give them lots and lots of space, even if they are more or less trapped by a little avalanche. And we'll take good care of them. We'll use this as an opportunity to be able to research the Arctic wolves. But look at that. I am so excited about just making mountain after mountain like this that will end up becoming these gorgeous and amazing exhibits that will include all sorts of different Arctic animals and help us to expand Ice Ice Outpost and all of the small villages within it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. We have got our avalanche. We are getting ready for hopefully more avalanches in the future. I never thought I'd be saying that. And we will add in our Arctic wolves and see if we have done everything we have needed to prepare for them next time. 
So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Wolf Mountain and the new Wolf Mountain. And if you would like to join us in this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.